Well, good morning. It is Friday, September the 2nd. I am on my back porch in Hearst, Texas, right at sunrise. My name is Royal Ferris, and this is when I do my morning devotional. This is when it's best for me. It gets my day started. I found if I don't commit to doing it first thing in the morning, it just doesn't always get done. And I'm here to do it with you, and I'm excited about that. And, and since it's Friday, I, uh, I've got something today that's going to help you with your social life, your family life, your social life. So let's start off with the Lord's Prayer because the Lord's Prayer prepares us to hear what God would have us hear as we look at His Word. Our Father in Heaven, may we keep Your name holy. May we focus on Your Spirit and Your work today. Would You give us what we need today to uh, spiritually, mentally, and physically to be who You want us to be. Forgive us of our sins, and Father, would You point those sins out? Uh, that we need to remember and may we forgive those who hurt us instantly not hang on instantly would you protect us from temptations to do bad things and from the negative influences that are in our life because we know uh, we're going to give you glory today no matter what happens and i pray this in jesus name amen and amen so let's look it's short verse um it's clear, uh, it's, it's a simple verse, but it's a hard thing to do, okay? A lot of it depends on your personality. Some of us, some of us uh, see the good in people first, and others of us are more cynical, and, and, and it's harder for us to trust. Some of that's nature, some of that's nurture, but, but we're commanded to, we're commanded to. Look what Romans 12, 18 says, do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. See, here's the deal. When we're, when we're at war or when we're not in peace with someone or when there is conflict with someone, we're always very quick to uh, justify it because they started it, because it's about them. But no, we have a responsibility as followers of Christ we're to be in peace with everyone. Why? Why is that so important? Well, it's because of our influence. We're here to represent God. We're here to be God's love with skin. And if you're not at peace with somebody, you have no chance to do that. If they're from another political party than you, of you, or, or uh, you know, you're feuding with their family, or they're a person at work that you've, you've uh, fought for, against to get a job or get a point across or or whatever the relationship you're in with them you need to be in peace and the reason influence your role here for God is more important than your political party it's more important than anything else that you do that's your number one thing love God and love people do all that you can to live in peace with everyone so anyway uh, I'd love to hear your response to this. Uh, stay nice and be in peace with me. <laughs> Let me, uh, here's the prayer that I wrote for today. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm praying it for us. We know you love us even when we're not at our best. We know you love us even when we're not at our best. Today we will look for the best in everyone. Today we will look for the best in everyone. We will do all we can to be at peace with all people, even those who want to be our enemies. We will let you take care of judgment and consequences. <laughs> can you do that? We will let you take care of judgment and consequences. This is so important now. I see people all the time making enemies on Facebook just because somebody else believes something politically different than they do. So anyway, I hope this helps you. I'd love to hear your responses or your comments. Um, please keep them nice. And um, share this. Somebody you know may need to hear this. Uh, but even in your family, whatever, be at peace with everyone. It will make all the difference. It will give you peace 
and it will give you influence that you'll never have when you're angry or when you're in an argument with them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you Monday. I'm excited Monday. I'm going to do a, a whole the whole week on Peter stepping out of the boat with Jesus. It's pretty awesome. Uh, my name is Royal Ferris. I'm pastor of Life Connection Church. If you don't have a home church, would you be my guest this Sunday at 9.15 or 11 o'clock? If not, I will see you Friday, the good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. <laughs>